All right, thanks for checking out this video. My name is Timothy Ribb, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make saving a Google image to your Google Drive a whole lot easier. It's just an extension you're gonna download. So go to, go to Google. So you've opened up a Google window, and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the Chrome store. Go ahead and go into their website, and as soon as you get there up in the search window here, you can type in the name of the extension we're gonna get, which is called Saving to Google Drive. This is what the app looks like, Save to Google Drive, I'm sorry. Go ahead and click Add to Chrome. When this window pops up, you can hit Add Extension. And now I can see that it is activated. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pretend like, hey, I need a coloring page for my three-year-old. So I'm gonna say ice cream coloring pages as my search. And here looks like a good page. I can go into that. And now because I have set up that Chrome extension, I'm gonna right click on this picture. And because I have this extension, I now have the option to save to Google Drive. Previously, that would not have been visible. I could only save an image as or save a link as, which is great on a computer, but not so much on a Chromebook. So this is for you Chromebook folks primarily. Once I am hovering on Save to Google Drive, I have two different options. I don't personally ever save links. I always save images to Google Drive. So I'm gonna click that spot. Now, two glitches I've discovered and mainly it has to do with where does it go into my Google Drive. It seems like the very first time I save, it doesn't go where I want to. So basically I've just started considering this a setup. So here's what I'm gonna do to begin. I'm gonna go through and I'm not even gonna bother changing the name because I expect this to be kind of like it won't work the second time it will. But I am gonna say I wanna change where it saves to. So I'm gonna hit change for this and my drive is a good destination but it's not specific enough so i'm going to click change destination folder and once that pops up i'm going to select a folder that makes sense for me so like if you're a student you'll select the course you're in or, or whatever your situation is i'm clicking tim's files i'm going to select that and now presumably it is saved to that spot but like i said it's a little wonky the first time so here i am back on my image we're going to right click again, go back to save to Google Drive, save the image. And this time when it goes up, as I look at this title, I can see that it's going to that folder I selected, which makes me happy. -er. And the only thing I'm going to change, and this is super easy, is I don't like untitled image as a file name because it makes it difficult to search later if I, if I can't find it for some reason. So I'm going to click rename and I suggest you do the same and you simply just type in a name for it and this time when you hit apply and you close out this window the thinking is is that it will actually be in your google drive now so we can check that and i can go to my drive and now if i go to the folder tim's files i can open that up and as you can see, I actually have two because um, I was practicing earlier. You'll probably only have one. So that's the process. That's how it works. Thank you so much for watching this video. If, if you've appreciated this content and it went well for you, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you think these videos apply to you. And if you had an issue with this video, I'd love to hear about it below in the comment section so I can fix any mistakes I may have made. Have a great day. See you in the next video.